Alrighty guys, so welcome back to uh, Bioshock Infinite Walkthrough in 1080p, very nice high quality on the Xbox 360, and we are uh, just heading on through, later later we'll come back into this room and we'll, uh, we'll actually get some more stuff, there's uh, like an infusion bottle and whatnot, but for right now let's just go to this uh, Quinto scope, just for our achievement, um, but we've already gotten it so it doesn't count. Interest is a profit having a bunch of carnies and carousels. The place is themed to acquaint children with national service. You mean the military? Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old, not to part from Did you write that? No. So we still got our golden pistol. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess just because we haven't found a shotgun or anything yet. Oh boy. So basically everything in here runs off of Shock Jockey. Kate, shut up tight. Now how are we gonna get to the airship? Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Shock Jockey pretty much powers most of the doors uh, in this area. You'll find out. Shock Jockey? Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. There it is. First lady. Looks like it's heading for the dock. That will take us. Just stay close. Yes. Call me Booker. Uh, all right. Booker. Our ice cold Colombian ice cream is. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might. So this is definitely a Bioshock game in the sense that uh, there is a lot of places to look around, scavenge supplies, salvage things, and uh, maybe a little box phone right here from Rosalind. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was... You were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. Wow, if it wasn't for freaking Elizabeth interrupting that audio log, that was actually a pretty interesting one. <sighs> Dang it. Quite interesting. Lutens. Lutens and her brother. Um, what? are just quite, quite smart and interesting in the game. So why not? We got a carousel right here. How can you expect me to not want to ride it? And we're going to go over to this black guy who's smoking a cigarette. Get our first lockpick. Someone gave it to me. I brought what are you, Mr. DeWitt? Some sort of... I'm a, uh... Independent contractor. Used to work for the Pinkertons and such. Uh, I didn't know you could kill him. That was totally my mistake. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. And apparently because I did that, even though they hate black people, uh, you're not allowed to kill them, I don't think. So yeah, now, I'll now the cops are after me and all the shopkeepers. It's just a replica. The golden pistol is still good. Machine gun is still better, but the golden pistol has more accuracy. You can shoot people from far away. And it does have a lot of ammo. We need to summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. These seem to be the controls that summon her. Looks like 
this runs exclusively on shock jockey. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's, convenient. <laughs> that's convenient. He says that throughout the game multiple times. It's amazing. Then we upgraded our shield. Almost lost it there. So uh, before we get into all this battle and stuff, uh, let's go ahead and head back, and we're gonna get our uh, infusion upgrade. Uh, also, now that we have a lock pick, uh, we actually needed that in order to get into this room. Uh, there's also an achievement for uh, using Elizabeth to lockpick 30 different uh, locks. It's it's pretty easy. I mean, you, as long as you explore enough, you'll definitely get it, uh, you know, a couple hours before the game ends. But... Got a lock here. Give me a second. Obviously, it's a Bioshock game. Um, you're supposed to be exploring a lot and salvaging. It's done. Uh. Just what the doctor ordered. Since uh, since the game isn't extremely difficult, then um, we're just we're not going to upgrade our health at all. Probably we're just going to upgrade our assaults. Now that requires five lockpicks. I see a lockpick over there. And the uh, the carbine is pretty much like the uh, the pistol, but just more powerful. And I don't know. I like I like the carbine. I mean, who, if you choose between a carbine and a pistol, I mean, which one do you think you're going to want more? You're definitely going to want the carbine. They're both semi-automatic. Although the, the pistol is gold. I do like the goldness. Although diamond's better. Ah, but you got to get gold on all the guns first in the category. Oh, Black Ops 2 reference. All right. So, we need to get to the Lady Airship so that we can uh, get on out of here and get to New York. I mean, you, it doesn't take a genius to realize that that's not going to happen, but... Obviously, the game <laughs> can't just say, well, that's probably not going to happen, so let's just not do that. Obviously, you have to do it first. And there's 23 out of 37 for the Sightseer achievement. God, I cannot wait for the DLC to come out for this game. There's going to be three DLC. $20 with the season pass. So I'm assuming each one's going to be $10 because it'll be $30 if you don't get the season pass. Um, but it's supposed to introduce new weapons, new characters, new stories, everything like that. And there won't be a line to get in. Tell you what, it um, the game ends pretty, pretty obviously that it's supposed to be the end of the game. <laughs> Something wrong? So I guess you're just gonna. Oh, nothing I can't uh, fix. They're gonna add more stories that are in the middle of the game, and uh, not just like extend the end or something. They're gonna add more levels, or I guess. <gasps> oh, it's a bee! I, I hate these things. Jeez, oh, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you doing? Opening a tear. Oh, shit! What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a... a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time their doll is dishwater, a different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes... Sometimes I see something amazing, and I pull it through. There. Good God. 
I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Oh, no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <laughs> I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I can help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. Elizabeth, a little help? Looks easy enough. So in this next room... Uh, All done. We're going to go ahead and find another... Before we destroy this turret. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find another voxophone. And it also introduces Slate. Two score years of soldiering. And every heathen land I've known has less people in my passing. I hated no special enemy. Until now. Comstock. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles. And cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it. And he stripped me of my rank. So now we've got Bucking Bronco. We will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. And enemies that are in the air take more damage. 